You remember the old chucking cans and all that? <laughs> and Larry. And one chuck some loves this full can of red stripe and nearly hit me. So I go on, Mike, I says, listen, if you're going to throw things, it's at least it. And as I says here, <laughs> one hit me right at knackers. Oh. All right, I'm Danny from The Chef. We're here with John McClure from Reverend The Makers. Thanks for taking the time, mate. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me, Matt. The tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess I made, it usually doesn't rain. It You've got two sold out Sheffield gigs already, mm -hmm. full tour going. Can't wait, man. It's been obviously because of COVID. And we were meant to have a year off just as we were going into COVID. It's been like three and a half years since we toured properly. And, and that's a long time, but listen, tours sold amazingly, loads of it sold out. I'm a lucky boy, because mm. a lot of my contemporaries who I came around with, take out Arctic Monkeys out of it, because they're the biggest band <laughs> in the world. Everybody else from my era, the vast majority of them, they're gone. Mm. So I'm lucky. To have people buzzing on your new material, that's what it's about, because I'm mm. on this like mad quest to write a perfect song, and I'll never write it. I don't like you, I just thought you were cool enough to kick it Got a beach house I could sell you in Idaho My old shtick is to, to be a bit of an underdog I go outside with my acoustic guitar after gigs and all Yeah, fans I've seen a few of those I like that connection with fans, I like being an underdog I like being like a bit of a cult band Because I make enough money to have a nice standard yeah. of living I'm not bothered about being a millionaire mm. oh, I was thinking about you Did you think about me still? Do you not plan so far ahead? I was thinking that forever. I've been a lot of things, me. I've been like Godfather of Sheffield, then I'm Alex Turner's best mate, yep. then I'm a one-it wonder, then I'm a gobsh** off Twitter, <laughs> then I'm Jeremy Corbyn's mate. I'm more like to just be like older dude who makes some great good tunes now. I don't yeah. mind being that guy for a minute. Forever. So if you had to describe the new album, the current Reverend of the Maker sound mm -hmm. in three words, how would you put it? Smooth Yorkshire modernism. Smooth Yorkshire modernism. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Take that. You've had everything from like really Brit poppy rock to like electronic yeah. problems. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a pop single. I saw yeah, your mum giving you a bit of banter on yeah. Twitter for it as well. Like, in my ears, it sounds like TLC or something. Yeah. I thought that, I said, what would it sound like if Ian Brown sang Frank Ocean's songs? <laughs> it's never going to, is it? What would it sound like if Ian Brown sang Drake songs? And then we tried to do that, and by accident, we'd become this other thing. So somebody says, Barry White were from Sheffield, <laughs> Isaac Hayes were from Sheff, this is what he'd, he'd be doing. Sometimes Revenant Makers is a band, sometimes it's just me. Yeah. I meet this lad, he's from Wales. Wednesday night, call him Danny Lafrom. You know, you just meet people in your life and you're like, bang. Yeah, click. This album, we were about me and Dan really. He's very good at melodies, Dan. I'm more of a lyric man. We got this nice formula, so we were taking old beats from Philadelphia Soul, that kind of era. The melodies Dan would do, but melodies are coming more from like Earl Sweatshirt or oh, nice. Tyler the Creator or Frank Ocean or Drake even. And then lyrics obviously are like Ray Sheffield. Mm. So when you put them three things together, you get this fourth thing. Yeah. That don't really taste like hotels because nobody's going to sing them melodies the way I'd sing them. Every night, out of my mind, I try. No points scored there. Don't think so. Arguably the worst game of shuffleboard ever. Success rate is insane. Some of the bands that come out of this place. I, I understand. I know why this is. This is Richard Orley's theory. It's not mine. And I, I love this. In Sheffield, there's still a pr proliferance of old industrial units that you can take mm -hmm. on for f all. So bands move here. Blackwaters were one. Sophie and the Giants. They'll move to Sheffield. Rent's cheap. I can have a room. In Manchester or in, in Leeds, this is not the case because you've got your city centre has been almost entirely gentrified. Yeah. And the surrounding area. So you can't get them cheap air uh, pracky rooms, they just don't exist. Mm. That's why you're able to have self-esteem here mm. and bring Media Horizon here and Reverend of the Makers here and then Pulp, Arctic Monkeys, Richard Orley. None of us sound anything like each other, yeah, really. Yeah. None of us. We all got our own little thing going on. British electronic music were invented in this city. Half a mile up here at Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. So we were the first people to have synthesizers. Jarvis Cocker has this theory that because the factories were so loud, mm. we would have to turn up the bass to hear ourselves. Sheffield music has remained really bass heavy. Obviously, you get toddler tea. Yep. Even bring me the horizon. Even my music, the bass is, is, yeah, is, is a couple of dBs louder than it would be on anybody else's music. All of the time, out of my mind, every night I fly. Oh, yeah. Who do you think people should be keeping an eye on, like up and coming artists out of Sheffield? He's a called uh, Frankie Beetlestone, who I love. I think Frank's great. He's got a great vibe. He's got this tune, Tilt 4, that I'm 
wild for. There's a guy called Franz Bon, he's like a rapper, but he's also in this band called KOG, which is a bit more like Afro vibes. There's, oh, there's loads, man. I mean, I could be here all day, but top of my head, I'll say them two. And if you had to say all time favourite Sheffield artist? I think I'm going to have to go for somebody like Human League, and I'll tell you for why I'm yeah. going to pick Human League. They're not my favourite, they're the most important. Yeah, influential. So they're like both things at once. They're like this really avant garde, cool band, but then they've got these like clutch of massive pops in mm. this and none of it was on guitars, it's mental. It can only happen in Sheffield. <laughs> Legs. Got legs. Oh, he smashed it. Oh, oh. fucking forget about it. You wanna go? Bloody hell. I fly.